Hi guys, welcome back. SimUK here. This is Mr. Prepper. I think we're nearly out of this nightmare. Nearly a hundred days in. Can you believe it? How you doing out there? I hope you're okay. Oh, it's been a it's been a a real journey and a real nice experience playing this game. It's very challenging. It's also very clever. It's very deep. I've really enjoyed it. It's been good fun. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the journey as well. We've had some laughs. We've had some shocks. We've had some some laughs and some shocks and some strange experiences. But overall, we are not doing too badly at all. Not too badly at all. I suppose I ought to get into the habit of putting the glass back out there. Let me just turn this down a smidge. Making me very loud. Right, so we're going to lose the postman next week. But we don't have an inspection for a while. So let's go get those buckets. If I haven't already got them. Do I already have them? Negative. There they are. Oh, we've got a computer there. We've got to disassemble. Yeah, I remember. I remember where we are. We've got to go back and see those rats. I'm a little bit nervous to do that, I'll be honest with you. There was a lot of them. But we've got three provisions. I figured out, by the way, I figured out what this is. You see how you can have four jars? So it's not that you expand them, it's that you have like easily accessible things on the side. That's basically what it is. Like one of the buckets is, uh, one of the buckets? One of the pockets is uh, utilised for each section. Pretty straightforward, really. Makes sense once you figure it out. So, oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's grab that. Take some of the water from here. Go and uh, harvest. Nice. So I'm going to have to mix this up a little bit because what I'm growing here isn't ideal. Because uh, we're not getting the best sort of meals as a result. So I need to have a good look at my cookbook. And that cookbook I bought the other day in the last episode, I kind of feel like maybe that is the same book we already had. Stick those in there. And dry them. Whoops. I'll stick those in there and dry them. Take a little look on the way through, actually. How are we doing? Got a newspaper to grab. Just one rocket module. We've got to find out where uh, where that place is. Oh, hello. Our girlfriend's back. Flour, salt, sugar, she'll want one of them. It's a good job none of our neighbours can uh, like see into the garden and report us. At least I hope that's the case. Hi Kate, how are you today? Yeah. Some sugar. Yeah, we have some sugar. Sugar. Thank you. I look forward to eating whatever it is you're making. Postman! Lost Mr. Postman. The local police informs that yesterday an investigation was initiated regarding the search for missing Mr. Postman. We expect delays in the delivery of letters. Still don't, I still don't get the papers. I mean, what, what is the point? What is the damn point of the damn paper? So, we're going to sell all of our gold to Bob. Or at least what we've got on our 
immediate person. How many electrical things do we need here? 50 plastic, 20 electronics. It's pretty full, isn't it? Ten textiles. Oh, we've nearly got that. So we're a little way off. We've got some work to do there. We've got to we've got to get more of that in. I think I've got so many of these I should sell some. Only five dollars each. Yeah. Got my life on the line for those things. All right, let's come down here. Let's disassemble the computer. A few more bits. We're going to grab some fuel. Ten should be enough. Have something to eat real quick and then we're going to go back to the mine and we're going to have a second crack at this. Put the sugar and the flour back and the salt for that matter. Sit the old cucumber back in the fridge. We've got some scram. We've got some stuff. We have a pistol and we have an axe. A uh, pickaxe, that is. Uh, I'm just thinking I should take a second pickaxe. Don't want this to get broken. We've got 42 bullets, and we've only got an axe. That I'll have to do. Wish me luck, guys. They kicked my ass last time. Absolutely kicked my ass. Well, this time we're ready. Got four lots of edibles, lots of bullets, and if I can take the first lot out with uh, with my axe, then we'll have more than enough bullets. How many? How many down did I go? I can't remember. Was it this one? Oh, you son of a... So annoying, because he won't stand where he needs to stand. He just keeps going up and down the ladder. This is so irritating. But I cannot get him to actually go and stand anywhere. And we just lost loads of health there because of a game mechanic. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Are we in the right place? It's very difficult to tell. It's very dark. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Right, there's three to start with. That's it. Go stand in the middle of them, you moron. This time it's quite a few. I think I pressed like four different things then by accident.
Oof. Man alive, that was terrifying. Oh, look. So when you've got orange pieces like that, it will eat one at a time. I, I was trying to eat the whole lot in one go, and he was just taking little nibbles out of it. That was a little, a little bit stressful. Right, that's that's level uh, that's level six. That's level six unlocked. Oh crikey, Moses! Twenty-three bullets left. Holy carumbas! Yeah, come on, dude. Hang about. I bet it's really, really super cold at level six. Definitely should have brought more food with me, shouldn't I? No. Oh, righty. We're doing pretty good now. Pretty good indeed. Uh, I'm going to equip that. There's no point equipping that, that's not going to help us. Uh, which way, which way? Down? Oh my gosh, where are we going? Oh, sod, bit me. Good lord! There better be something good at the end of this. Oh, what's in here, I wonder? Glasses. Please be glasses. Please be food. I need food. Damn it. There's nothing good in there whatsoever. Alright, where's the thing? Look how far we had to go to get to that. My gosh. That's the longest windy, windy route we've, uh, we've had. Look at it. It goes all the way up to the top and then all the way back down again. Wow. So I'm in a very vulnerable position right now because I have no more food. Getting to the point where I'm going to have to bring a lot of food just to keep things going. Right. We're going to go recharge this bad boy. Get rid of some of that fuel. Grab some of the uh, diamonds, hopefully. Fill it. I can't fill it to the top. No diamonds. Okay, well. I can't pick up the gold. We got way too much stuff. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of the fuel. So we've got level question mark now. Nothing ran out of fuel, that's great to see. Ah, just over. Wouldn't let me do it. Uh, so there's plenty of oil. I guess we're going to have to do like a proper run, aren't we? We're going to have to come in and just collect oil, just collect jewels, just collect this, just collect that. Diamond. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Level two. Cool, look at that. Just a smidge of fuel left. It's, it's so frustrating that you can't fill it all the way up. Because it already has the teeny tiniest bit of fuel in it. I 
Okay, so we've got quite a lot of stuff there. Let's go sell that to Bob. And then we can go down to the very, very lowest depths. I wonder if he's got any food. If he's got some food, we could buy some food. I think I really need to stock up on food before I go down there. Dude, what can I sell you? Look at that, $240, $340 worth of stuff. <clears throat> and we still got loads, loads and loads of stuff that, uh, that he doesn't want. How to, learn how to be even more effective in combat. Do I need level 2 combat? I suppose I do. What's this? The Preppy Guide to Prepping. Learn how to be more prepared. Mm. Not convinced, I'm afraid. Not at that price. Maybe once we've got a couple of thousand in... I love it when he does that. Maybe when we've got a couple of thousand in the bank. We'll have a go at that. But right now, that just seems very expensive. Right, let's have ourselves a little drink. We're going to eat some dodgy rat meat. Where are we at? Level 5, baby. No, hang on, we were at the level we wanted to be at. So level question mark is... That's weird, why is it level question mark? Is there a machine here? There's no machine, there's a question mark. What's this? Inspect it. Question mark? Great, very informative. I suppose no one knows what's on this level. Or maybe it changes every time. What a crazy idea. Can I like mine the wall? No. What's down this side, anything? Nothing here. If we get attacked, we're pretty much dead. So if we get attacked, I'm just going to run. Let's go out to the edge. What does that say? What does that say? Dead end. Okay. Let's try going down. I should go to sleep. Oh, it's midnight, look. Probably not a good time to be exploring. Oh, look at this. We got lots of gold for that. More gold. Yeah, we're getting some nice stuff. All right, we'll just check out the first first level. Nothing else. Oh wow, these were a bit tougher. A lot tougher. Oh, my axe is broken. Okay, that's what that problem was then. Back to the pistol. Oh, not this rubbish again. Reload. Come on, find some glasses. I really want to find these glasses. Oh. There's a bit of gold there, that's it. Oh, my pickaxe is broken. Ah, damn it. Okay, we're going to have to come back to level one with the pickaxe. And it's half past one in the morning. We could be in trouble here. I, I seem to remember there being a rule about being in bed by 3 a.m. Look at this. I don't think we're going to make it back on time. Scary stuff. And we're really tired, look. That's going to keep us going for a minute. But literally... Literally on the limit here. Can we get to bed by 3am? We should be alright, shouldn't we? Yeah, just about. Just about. Hmm. Oof. Okay, well that was an interesting first day. 
We've just about fought the rats off. We're going to need to make a lot more food. We basically need like eight rounds of food to go and investigate the mine. Loads of energy drinks. So we're going to have to get ready. We're going to have to prepare <laughs> before we go. Let's uh, go check out the post. Order some more bullets. Order a new axe. Bum, bum, bum. 40 for an axe. Oh no, we don't need an axe, we need a pickaxe. Where's that going to be? From Bob? Yeah, 26 for Bob. Let's just sell him all of our stuff. We got so much gold. We got more gold than we can sell. We are just loaded right now. Um, so we need some textiles, and some electronics, so we'll grab those. Who's doing the textiles? Somebody was. I think it was you, wasn't it? The Minuteman's still not back. Ah, textiles. We'll take a bunch of those. Okay, that's going to get us in a really pretty decent position. I'm going to have to sort out the uh, food and water situation. Twenty electronics. We're pretty close to that, I think, aren't we? What What are we on? Eight. Seventeen plastic. I need 50 plastic. That is a lot. That is a lot of plastic. I think the best place to get plastic from is Bob, isn't it? It's expensive, though. It's expensive, but it's, it's effective. It's quick. Right, let's get some water. Get the plants done. Get some more water. Looks like the posties here. Good stuff. Should have watered these whilst I was down here, never mind. Mistakes were made, lessons were learnt. So I didn't grab any oil. I suppose it's probably time I thought about topping up the oil situation. Oh wow, we only, we only had one water left, look. We'll dry the rat meat. Dry those, obviously. Oh no, they're already dry. We'll dry those. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. Let's get something to eat. So we may not be able to go back down the mine until tomorrow. Uh, I could dry those, can't I? Definitely need to get some food sorted out. What can I cook today? Nada. Energy drink. Let's do that. Okay. Um, is there anything else we can cook? at all. Do I, is it just because I don't have less stuff? Oh look, I'm holding all this. I 
I do have a bit of oil. Take the oil downstairs then. Oh look, it's our friend. Kate, she always makes a nice dinner. Fantastic little cook she is. Hi okay. Kate, how are you today? Uh, Hello neighbour, uh, I have this for you. Thank you. She is awesome. So I'm going to equip that. I'm going to separate these. I'm going to equip that and equip that. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. I see how that works. So, okay. That's pretty cool. You can actually carry quite a lot of food then because you can have multiples of any one thing. That's rather handy. Got the meat. Let's equip that as well. Got ourselves an energy boost. And then uh, whack the oranges in there. Put the sugar and the salt back. Put the nasty cucumber back. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a few more of those drinks before uh, before we go. Okay, I think probably we will have a go at this today then. Uh, let's just drop that in there. I want to sort that out. We have a lot of gold and. Bring the iron. Oh, did I not grab this? Sorry. We'll, we'll put the iron ore in as well. Oh, wow, look at this. We've got a new axe. That's what I was looking for. That's one of the things I was definitely looking for. Because we can't go very far without an axe. Only 18 bullets left. That's a problem. Why does iron ore not come up with all the other sort of uh, elements? What am I looking for here? Bullets. That's from Joe. Joe has no bullets today. That's a big problem. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It might be a bit too late. We may have to just prepare ourselves for tomorrow's journey instead. But we're actually pretty short on food overall. The fridge is empty for the first time in quite a long time. Give it a go. Finally raining. That's good to see. I'm desperate to fight. Whoa, that was weird. I'm desperate to find these glasses. Let's start at the bottom. Oh, there's a, a jewel thing there. How? Okay, so that's, this is as low as it goes. So 
Now we've only got one pickaxe, so I'm a little nervous. It's not going to last because these big rocks are taking quite, quite a lot out of it. I think I found out how to do that a bit better now. Just stand to one side. So gold, okay. That's all we have there, it's just a bit of gold. We'll go up one level, we'll check it out. Okay, this way. Looks like I can. I'm sure these mushrooms have got a bigger role to play than they currently have. Took a little bit of a whack there. Have ourselves a little bit of bacon. That'll make us feel better. Down we go. Probably could have done that slightly better, to be honest. Right, we'll grab that as well. We'll grab them, why not? We'll go up another level. So, I'm surprised I haven't found uh, any glasses. I really thought that was going to be the next thing. I really, I really thought that was going to be on the last level, to be honest with you. It must be somewhere else. But I'm sure he said he lost them somewhere in the mine. Alright, hello. So is this where I got to last time and I haven't I didn't have my axe? Lots of gold, but no glasses. Well, I never. You think maybe we just missed it? I think it was like further up somewhere and we just walked past it and didn't see it. up to 100%. Get my finger on the uh, on the healing button. It is doable then. Fainted. I was pressing the eat button, but he just wouldn't eat. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I was pressing the eat button, and he just refused to eat. That gun is not that effective, you know.
Dang. Dag nang it. Okay, well, we need to go home because we need to we need to prepare for that all over again. We need to get some more bullets in. We need to get uh, a lot more stuff. Oh, there's no postman today. Tell me it's not an inspection day. No, just no postman. Okay, well. Hi, <sighs> yeah, that did not go well at all, really. Truth be told. And, uh, ah, crikey. There's a little bit of stuff there. I think I'm going to go get some oil today. Uh, everything else kind of went a bit... Woo -woo. Didn't go well, did it? Let's uh, let's put all of our stuff to sell in here. Got a bit of oil. Take the fuel out. That shouldn't really be in there. The other one. Oh yeah, and what's our target again? 50 plastic, 20 electronics, 10 textiles. Electronics, textiles... I should have bought some textiles tonight. That's another eight. So 10, uh, 10 textiles, I've forgotten already, 50 plastic, 20 electronics. So we're not far off, we need four more of those and lots and lots and lots of plastic. Why so much plastic in a rocket? You'd have thought that would be the other way around, wouldn't you? Still, okay, that is the situation we're in. That's what we're, that's what we're dealing with right now. Let's go, uh, let's go charge this up, get rid of the oil. We'll offload the uh, iron ore because that's super heavy. I'll get it done in the morning as best we can. We've got three lots of fuel. Stone and textiles can go back in there. Only eight bullets left. Huh. Take a bit of water. And we'll put... Why are the seeds not in the food area? That doesn't make any sense to me. Right, let's go get some water. We'll water everything. And then I think we'll just go and get some oil. We'll spend today stocking up on oil. At some point, Joe's going to come back to us, having fixed the uh, radio to the car, I imagine. Or maybe we get, need to go see him, I don't know, actually. We should go see him anyway, because we need to get some more bullets. Alright, let's try these things out. We'll keep the cucumbers for munchies. Let's head over to Joe's. Buy some bullets. And then we head over to the mine and uh, get everything going. Or he might have a little adventure for us. Who knows? Oh, he's not here. Ah, Joe. Ah, diggity, Joe! Alright, we'll just go get some oil. We'll go mad on oil. 
how am I going to beat those rats, man? That's a lot of rats. Oil, oil, stuff to sell, stuff to sell, oil, oil, oil. Really? I can barely carry any oil. It's it's frustrating. Okay, level five. I mean, we can't sell any of these uh, jewels and stuff yet, so there's not really any point in carrying them. If I can at least have the machines running, that's a good start. Oil, oil. Bit of cash in the bank. Have one more unit of fuel left. We'll chuck it in there. There's no point holding on to it, is there? Any oil? No. Some nice, nice stuff to sell when the postman comes back. We'll go sell this to Bob. Trade time. Nice, that's 200 odd. Buy loads of plastic. That's going to help us out. <laughs> I love it how he runs. I find it so funny. That's it. That's the maximum amount of oil I can carry on me at any one time. Oh look, we've got to go visit Jenny at her cabin. There's a mission I hadn't spotted until literally that second. Let's go see Jenny on the way home. Well, actually, let's not. Let's go home first, get the oil in the machine and then go see Jenny. Because she might ask us to do something and we won't be able to because we can't carry anything else. There we go, let's recharge these bad boys. Probably really need to do a couple of runs to get enough oil to keep these going for a bit. But they haven't been running for like two or three days, so... Uh... Oops. We've got a little bit of excess oil for a change. Just one day's worth. That's not bad for one, one trip. Alright, let's go to Jenny's. Make sure I don't have anything on me I don't want. Oh, I've got plastic on me. And cucumbers. plastic in there. Oh, actually, let's not put the plastic in there. Let's put the plastic in in this box. Because that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to get up to, what, 50 is it? 50 plastic? We're not far off now, guys. 
actually made some pretty good progress towards that goal. Got a little bit of water in there. That's enough to keep us going. Keep the cogs whirring. See if there's anything here I missed. Nope. Hi Jenny Jenster. How are you doing? So she told us some pretty freaky stuff. Hello Jenny and Bob. Can I ask you a favour? Hello, we're all ears. So it's about the other Bob, you know, from the mine. The biped. The biped? His sight is getting bad lately. He needs glasses to read! And tend to his mind in general. I was wondering, would Bob, I mean Bob, would you be willing to give your glasses to Bob? I feel he is willing to help a kind plant as he is, but doesn't he still need them himself? I didn't see those on there. Um, I think Bob doesn't have to use them anymore. He is growing so well. It gets greener every day. I'm sure his sight is already great. Because of, you know, photosynthesis and stuff. I think you're right. Bob will be fine without the glasses. And maybe it's time for a new look. Take them! We got the glasses! Yes! Oh man, I thought they were in the mine. So thank you, 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 Jenny. We're going to go give these to Bob now. Bob's going to be really happy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do I have the glasses? Yes, I do. Hey, Bob. Papa's got a brand new bag. We're going to grab some more oil whilst we're here. Let's go down to level one. We'll go see Bob. We'll see how excited he is. Damn. Did I bring any drinks with me? I didn't, did I? We're getting really tired. Must always bring energy drinks. We just have to go down, grab as much oil as we can and come back. Hey Bob, I got some McGlasses for you. Hey. Oh wonderful, let me try them right away. Wow, you actually look similar to him. Hmm? To whom? Huh? Oh, never mind. Do the glasses help? Yeah. Yes, Prepper, thank you. You're the best. Now, I think you deserve to know something, but I hope you can keep a secret. Hmm. Sure, I can store it in an underground bunker. Oh, <laughs> you have a weird sense of humor, Mr. Prepper. Anyway, come. I need to show you something. Oh, something exciting. Oh, this is quite a collection. Now you understand the secrecy. I have always loved books and comics too much for my own good, it turned out. When the new government started implementing censorship laws, I didn't really believe they would act on them. Up to the day up to the day the agency came into my house and confiscated all my books, not all were subversive, as they say, but they took everything anyway. Everything, Civil War era, pamphlets, Little Nemo, Jules Verne, pre-war Superman, Sylvia Plath, and then they took my job. I used to be a teacher, you know, but possession of subversion materials is bad influence on the youth. But it seems the punishment didn't work well. You're a habitual offender. True, collecting is way harder now than it used to be. I managed to gather some wonders and curiosities through, though. And please don't ask me where I have the contemporary European comic strips from. Please take a look if you want. Um, hey Prepper, one more thing before you go. Yes. As you go on exploring the mine, please be careful. Under no circumstances, please don't go to the sixth level of the mine. It's way too dangerous. But I myself never go there. Hmm. Okay, why is that? Before the government had a band in the mine, they were doing some technology experiments there. Basically, they were using hydrogen-based mining explosives. And how did it go? Not very well, but there is still a lot of hydrogen containers down there. Please don't go there. You would risk blowing yourself up with the whole mine. Oh, this sounds very dangerous indeed. I will keep well away from there. Hydrogen, you say? That's interesting. Uh, I've already taken a look at level 5. In fact, I've been beyond level 5. I'm like way beyond level 5. Listen, Bob, I need something that's not legal to get someone in trouble. So what's this? That's a sleepless poster. That's a poster. That's a builder book. Handy person's book. Art of negotiation. Let's grab that. 
I'd like to get some better prices. Uh, learn to craft faster. Learn how to sleep and nap more efficiently. Right, let's trade. Weird, I can hear dogs. Right, okay, so I don't think he has what we need, but we need to go back home. We desperately need to go back home. I want to grab some oil. I'm really pushing the limits of what we can do here. It's only 8 o'clock. It's not super late. As long as we don't pass out, we should be fine. Oil, oil. Uh, okay, that's not as much oil as I was expecting. Are we on the wrong level? We are. What level did I just go to? Level 4 I want to go to. And if we go down to the next level, we go down to level 6 again, quickly, just briefly. I'm hoping nothing serious happens and we'll tick off another milestone in the mission. So let's just pop down there, just real brief, real quick. Maybe go have a look at the question mark. Weird, nothing happened. There might be a hydrogen storage on level 5, even if Bob denies it. Ah. So there's a storage location with hydrogen in it. We've already got some hydrogen from there, so maybe it was just that one bottle. And the game can't quite cope with the fact that we've already done it. Um, let's go sleep. Nothing else we need to do. An interesting day. They're all interesting days. I'm so glad I found his glasses. Oh my god. Ah, I feel like I've been looking for them for so long. We should have a nice amount of water coming in. I'm definitely going to have to let some of these plants die and really think about what I want to plant. Get some system in place. Right, pretty good. Food-wise, we're not in a great place. And the food we're growing is not ideal. Uh, let's see here. If I grab some, if I grab some water, some salt. Did I grab some water? You're not going to let me grab the water, huh? Alright, let's go down here and recharge these. Get rid of some of that oil. Oil is a big pain in the butt, I have to say. Kind of like... Uh, kind of like... Um, iron ore. Super heavy. Okay, so we've got some boots here. So we're going to get better sleep and better negotiations. So let's put our books in the bookstore. I think we're going to have to take all of these out actually. Let's take all. Let's put them in the long term storage. One of those had a different icon on, I thought. Just make sure we have read all of them. Oh, look at this. There we have it. So that teaches how to do a room upgrade for the greenhouse. I 
think maybe I just, I don't know if that did something then or not. What is the book? I'll make you strong. That's the freezer room upgrade. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've read all of that. Let's go grab this stuff. Oh, I need fuel. Okay. Still, we have no post. Uh, let's get the water sorted out. is so full. Stitch me up, game. You're stitching me up. What can we whack in there? Let's whack in some oranges. We'll dry those out. We'll whack those in there. We'll dry those out. Can I make some jam? We need sugar for jam, we need some water, we need some glass. We're actually really low on glass. We can make some pickles. Surprisingly, we don't have enough cucumbers. Energy drinks, it is. Hmm. Okay, what can we do to fix this? situation. I really don't know. We've got a couple of pickles. We've definitely got more stuff we can cook now in that book. What do we need to make uh, tinned stuff? Just some metal. Oh wow, that's brilliant. We've just created a ton of metal. Because tinned food, in my humble opinion, is going to last Almost indefinitely, I would say. So canned beet... Oh, what? Are you serious? What are we lacking? Oh, we need to make beet soup. Oh, that's interesting. So you've got to make the soup first. Mushroom soup, tomato soup, cucumber soup. So can we have canned cucumber soup? Is that a thing? I'm sure I've seen that. I don't see it though. So we definitely need to get some more. Yeah, we definitely need to get more vegetables growing. Right. Okay. So it seems like down here we've got some uh, of these. So I might just come and pick all of these up and swap them out for vegetables, I think. So these will be veggies up here.
cucumber qualify as a vegetable or is that like a salad thing? It's, it must be a vegetable, right? What is this? That's guana seed. We don't really want that in here. Beets, carrots, cabbage. That's what we need. So let's plant some, some beets, some cabbage, and some carrots. I think that's the right thing to do. And then we'll come down here and we'll plant some guarana, guarana, guarana plants. Okay, groovy. We'll stick the excess water in there. We'll eat these just to get our uh, energy levels back up so that everything's happy and hunky and dory. So veggies on the top, fruit on the bottom. Um, I'm probably going to have to remove that one and just deal with the fact that I'm only pulling in three. I'm hoping the greenhouses give a little bit extra fruit off the back. And then I'll put something in there. I don't know what yet. Something that we haven't yet had, I think, probably. Can I join mushrooms in there? Nope. Negative. Uh, that's guana seeds. Okay, all right, let's put the seeds in here. Guana seeds downstairs. Fruit downstairs. Vegetables upstairs. That should have been how I did it all the way from the beginning. But there you go. Now, one, two, three. I'll bring that up here. One, two, three. Oh my god, I'm doing it back to front as per bloody usual. Let's have an energy boost, thank you very much. We do need to grab some stone. I'm going to say 17 stone. I'm going to come and whack that in here. Just to make sure we've got some glass. Always a good idea to have glass. Grab the wood and recharge. Put the wood back. We have a little bit of glass on us. And did I put the wood back? Did I? Did I? Did I? Okay, so I've got a little bit of metal on me. So metal and glass needs to come up here to the cooking area. That's how we're going to make our tin uh, vegetable soup and stuff. And then that will just last forever, I imagine. Let's just see if I can cook anything. We've, we've got nothing. We've literally got zero stuff. So no. Um, put it in there. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep these on me. We've got the salt and stuff. Sugar, salt, metal, glass. It's everything we need. Water tanks filling up. Need to use some water. Otherwise that will look suspicious too. Right. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. It's quite late at night. I don't think we're going to get anything done today. We're certainly not ready to go and take on those bloody rats again. Not yet. Just see if there's anything we can build whilst we're here. So we've got these upgrades. A couple of simple traps. Canvas. Carpet. Books. So not very much, to be honest. Let's go to... Um, let's go to the forest and just check our traps. I think we're going to have to go back see Joe. Uh, we'll grab that, because we haven't had any wood grabbing for a, quite a while. 
grab all of those. Then we'll head up to level five. Got my gun, I've got six bullets. I think that's about all I've got. We do need to go see Joe, we do need to get some bullets. Oh, there's our traps. Nice, quick set. Oh, I didn't bring any. Ah, oh, you stupid idiots. I didn't bring any bait. That's proper crazy. Right, let's go to the junkyard and see Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey. hey, buddy. I fixed the car up with the radio. I bet it's strong enough to pick up something. Now you can venture into the desert and pick up the broadcast. I'm dying to know its content. I'll write it down for you when I catch it. Okay, cool. Free North America. Uh, okay, right. Let's do a little bit of trade. Uh, we'll take all the bullets he's got. Forty-two. That's a good amount of bullets. I wonder if I should maybe try and use some explosives. Stuns and pushes back enemies around you. You can also disassemble it to get a rest to get its to get its a recipe. Uh, okay, we'll take one of those. We'll take one of those, and I could buy some fuel of him, but I'm not going to bother. What about Fort Observer? Can you tell me where that is? I've got an important question. Do you know the exact location of Fort Observer military base? I know it's in the desert somewhere and nobody knows as much about the desert as you. I might know what you're talking about. But you know, buddy, it ain't personal, but I'm not going to give away classified information to someone I barely know. It's not in my political climate. Okay, we've asked him before. That's what he said then as well. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're going to go for a little drive. Should we go now? Should we go now? What do you think, guys? Let's go now. Should we just do it? What's the worst that could happen, huh? What's the worst that could happen? I don't want to know. I actually don't want to know what the worst that could happen is. We've got no quickie food. We've, I mean, we have got some bullets. I suppose. 20 units of fuel. The uh, thing is, we're going to have to... Right, we're going to go tomorrow, because I've got all this wood. I've got to disassemble. You know, I've got work stuff. You know, there's too much going on. Too much going on for today. What the hell is this? A tusk. A goddamn tusk. It's just crazy. Tusk go in there. Right, so we'll take the baits, the baits, the baits. Is there any more baits there or am I just being an idiot? Yeah, that's all the baits. Okay, it's midnight. We're going to sleep. First thing tomorrow, we're going to go for a drive into the desert. Although I kind of feel like um, I need to be there at night. Kind of feel like it's a night thing. Right, we've got one day to do this and then we've got to be back for the inspection. The first one this week, and I think it's our first chance to get down to zero um, suspicion level. That could be really good for us. Right. It's quite a lot of water. Um, so we've got some stuff we can harvest. Let's harvest, let's make some food. We'll re, uh, replant everything we can. Gee, I probably need some water. Too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. Doesn't it make sense then that we water it before uh, anything else? Well, that's just silly. Water. Water. Okay. 
Okay, not too bad. What can we dry in here? We could dry some wild meat. Don't think it's going to last all that long. We can dry... I'm going to keep the beets because I want to cook something. Uh, glass, tin, sugar, salt. Okay. Show me what we can... So we can do vegetable soup. What happened? Vegetable soup. What's going on here? Ah, too much... Too much weight. Um, energy drink? So I can do an energy drink, right? That'll, that'll get the weight down. Pickles. Kamichi. So now can I do soup? Ah, oh, damn it. I used, uh, I used something I needed. I used the cabbage. Carrot soup. Now I can make it into a can and that's awesome. I just need a little bit more salt. Oh, this is silly. Okay, can we just let me pick up what I can pick up then. Don't just tell me I can't pick it up. If I can only pick up 10 out of the 30, then just let me pick up 10. Don't just say no to every... Right, okay, that's pretty cool. We've made some pretty awesome stuff there. Uh, I'm going to equip and equip. And equip and equip. That seems like a good idea. All this can go back in the cupboard. Carrots can go back in the fridge. We're going to have to eat something, though. Oh, I've got lots of fuel on me. And some carrot seeds. Let's get rid of the carrot seeds. I need the fuel for the car, that's the thing. Carrot seeds can go back in there. Come and water everything. And then I think we're probably going to have to go and get in the car. no water left. Interesting. Stick those in there, dry them out. Stick the oranges in there, we'll dry those out. And then I'm going to eat all of these and get some energy. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to eat that cabbage and then we're going to go for a drive guys and see if we can get that radio signal. We'll take that, we'll eat all of those, and we'll eat that. We're in a pretty good place. Nice, look at this. Everything's going well, which can only mean one thing. Something bad's going to happen.
Level 5. There's a level 6 that we haven't yet got to. We've got the lever. I forgot, actually. What do we need to repair this? Uh, 30 metal, 30 electronics, and one lever. I think we could do that, you know? Quick set. Quick set. So, what was it? I think we could actually do that. Let's go... Let's focus on the radio first. Let's try the radio first. But... 30 electronics. We're pretty close to that. 30 metal we could do quite easily. If we have time. Right, let's drive. Now, I'm still not sure... If we need fuel to get back. I've forgotten how to do this. Oh my god, I hope it tells me. The left mouse to go out, right mouse to accelerate. Okay, good. So we're heading out deep into the desert, guys. We're going to try and get within range of a radio signal and uh, hopefully change our fortunes. It's something really important. Hopefully we can find some fuel on the way and we can just sort of keep going. Alrighty, wolves it is. Wolves I'm not too scared of. Especially when they die that quickly. Okay, that's this kind of edible stuff. Ah, I, sure, I was sure I was driving the same route as last time and yet it looks different. Is it because of these fabled mirages or what? I don't know. But it's 7.58 at night, that's not good is it? So we've got some, uh, we've got some food. So that's good. What's in this box? Another knife. It's quite a lot of knives. We can take the box as well, look. We'll grab that. So there's nothing else here. That I can see. I definitely could, should have come earlier. Definitely should have come earlier. So I've got to watch my fuel. Okay, drive... Drive forward. Driving at night. Oh, this is a bad idea. How am I going to see when things come? Okay, that. I think it's acceleration. Oh, my shish kabang. I cannot see a thing. This is so hard at night. I don't recommend you come out at night. It's not a good idea. Definitely makes this whole process more difficult. Hope we find some fuel. Now, what are we looking at here? What are we going to get attacked by this time? again. Oh, tougher wolves this time. Grab the scrap. Got a proper house to look at. That means fuel. How complicated can a desert be? I'd swear I've been the same place twice here. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Yep, fuel. Nice. Oh, come on, just grab it. Grab it. Open. Take it all. What's this? Fabrics. Is that just like textiles? Is that the same thing? Grab the uh, soup. Grab the box. I want to go inside the house, see what's there. I can see there's like... tables and chairs and stuff. Is that it? 
Is that all that's in there? Okay, fine. How much fuel have we got? One extra barrel. Well, right, I'm going to hold on to that. Just in case we need to... Uh, just in case we need to do something else. Let's drive forward. This may be the last trip we can do. I can't believe... We haven't found the radio signal thing yet. Must be doing something wrong. Oh, crap. That was sneaky. That was the other side. So difficult to see in the dark. Okay, we've made it. Um, I'm feeling snakes. Nope. It's wolves. Active wolves. Wussies, though. Okay, that's a lot of wolves. More wolves. Okay, fine. That is a lot of wolves. Whew. Okay, what have we got here? Gotta be something good, surely. Some fuel. There's nothing in these fuel crates. We'll take the cash. Knives and iron and stuff, I'm not too bothered about. Oh, too heavy. Alright, what can we ditch? What don't we care about? Some of this can be uh, equipped. Tin stuff is always good for equipping. Okay. Table. Oh, not too bothered about the table. Let's get rid of the table. Hey, I wonder if I can get rid of uh, those unwanted uh, bloody letters and postal things. That would be good. So I can't go inside the building, it looks like. Just loads of soup and boxes that I can pick up. Oh, what happened to my... what happened to my sleep? Let's try one more. One more and then we'll go back to Joe. Oh, it's really dark now. Oh, that was sneaky. That was too, like... In really quick succession. That timer thing is counting down. I think we're in trouble. I don't think I've ever been awake at 3am in this game. I don't actually know what happens. Damn it. Crashed the car again. I think I destroyed the car. Ah, destroyed the car. And I didn't get the radio signal. Let's talk to, uh, talk to Joe. Maybe he'll... Will he pick up the signal yet? No luck so far. Sorry. Right, well that's it. I screwed it up, guys. We've got 20 minutes to get home, get into bed and get to sleep before it hits that magic 3 o'clock in the morning and everything breaks. 10 seconds. Look at this thing. That's weird. 4 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes. Oh, 1 minute. We were 1 minute away from 3 a.m. Right. So I'm going to have to go fix the car before we can take it out again. I think I'm just going to have to take a ridiculous amount of fuel. I mean, we can do that. That isn't going to be a problem. Right, 
let's chuck all this in there. All the things we shouldn't have on us, like explosives and bullets and things. Got a lot of scrap. Uh, we need to eat something. Grab these buckets, get them out of sight. Oh, we've, got, we've clearly got something on us that we shouldn't have that's weighing us down. It's all this scrap metal, isn't it? Let's get rid of all this scrap stuff. That can go in there. Oh man, we've filled it up. We put scrap in there? We can't put scrap in there. Oh, big problems now. We need to get more organised than this. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Will it let me? Please say yes. Yes. Perfect. Can I put the other one there as well? That'd be interesting. If it lets me put four there. Oh, I will. Beautiful. Right. Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, everything else, I think it's fine. The metal and the glass should be in here, but I don't know if we'll get told off for having metal and glass. That's really what it's meant for. Okay, that's pretty good. So now we've got a, a four stack high thing here, we can actually get quite a lot of stuff in there. It's rather handy. It definitely makes life easier. I think I'll move them down here though. We have to do something. Yeah, that went pretty well. Early in the morning, everything's kind of done. Yeah, you end up with a lot of stuff in this game. Grab it. Let's bring it down here. Place it there like that. And then it just keeps it neat and tidy, doesn't it? Be good. Take this off our back. Slot it in there. Come upstairs and cover this. Nothing at all in the fridge. Uh, oh, okay, so we can put everything in the fridge. We can do a little test now as well. Now, I'm a bit concerned about the accumulation I've got of stuff there, but let's have a nap. That's covered, right? And we'll see whether or not he just lets himself in. Oh no, we're fully rested. Darn, there's nothing I can do. Let's go turn the radio on. I've never done that. What happens if we turn the radio on? Okay, fair enough. Nothing at all. Let's just speed up time. 
and wait for our best friend in the world to, uh, to arrive. Right, can he nap now? He actually started doing press-ups. Did you see that? Right, so we're napping. There you go. He doesn't let himself in. So I think that's a bug. That when you're napping and you stand up and it just kind of lets him in the door. There's a couple of, in case you haven't seen it, a couple of episodes ago we got arrested. How's that looking actually? Oh yeah, quite low. Quite reasonable. I'm trying to make sure that the water usage is acceptable. You may be a bit peeved by the amount of sugar, salt, water we've got, plus metal and all sorts in this cupboard over here. It does get a bit narky. So far, so good, I think. I'll replace the bread bin. Brilliant. Suspicion level is zero. Five stars. That's tremendous. I'm well happy. So now I know I can keep metal and glass and stuff in here and not worry about it too much. That's great news. Keep ten in there. All right, we'll uncover this then. We'll go and... I hope the postman's back. Wonderful. All right. Well, we've got like a... Oh, hello. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What have we got here? <sighs> Dear Mr. Prepper, and here I am with another warning. Some people in the agency are determined to prove you really are up to something, and they will look into your cupboards and cabinets even more closely. Be sure to keep anything that might be suspicious out of their sight. Okay, that is a... That is a, a warning I will take great notice of. Thank you. So we've got a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, we need to equip that. Bring all this back up here. So, right, here's an idea. Can I just, oh man, I can just bin that. So take all of those letters and just throw them away. Ah, oh, I've, I've been wanting to do that for so, so long. The amount of space that was taken up was driving me a little bit potty. So all our cookbooks are in there. What's this? That's the inspection protocol. We kind of need that. Let's try and keep all our books together. Uh, this is a level two thing. That's a fuel thing. That's an ice worm thing. What's this one? Oh, that's cookbook. Sleeper. Negotiation. What's this then? That's room upgrades. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's fighting level one. What's this? cookbook as well. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty neat and tidy. What's this? It's a letter from the Minuteman. Oh, actually, let's take the... 
take the letters out of there, put the letters in the middle one. And this kind of paraphernalia type stuff. Got a lot of water on us at the moment. Um, right, let's try and get... Uh, try and get my head back into the zone. There's an awful lot that needs to be done. This all needs to be sold to Joe. I'm not equipped the bag. I have equipped the bag, but I can't pick up more than one bit of scrap. Because of all the water I'm holding, right? Of course. Let's go water everything. Okay, yeah, we'll start here. Start here. Okay. Yeah, we need to plant more stuff. I'm just going to drop a ton of water in there. Grab the oranges. Grab the thing. Put some more oranges in there. Dry those out. Oh, that's pretty full. So I'm going to eat those. Is that cooked? Don't eat it raw, it says. That needs to go in there so I can equip these again. So we'll equip... Ah, oh, you spanner. Equip. Equip. That can go in the cupboard. We need this on our person. That can go in the in the fridge. It's all stuff that needs to be dealt with. What have we got on this? Have I got any buckets on me? No. Let's just cook that up. Ah, it's amazing how quickly time disappears in this game. I can go in the cut in the fridge for now. Try and sell all this scrap to Joe. Hopefully that'll make him trust me as well. Got a lot of water I've got to sort out. Yes, we've maxed out the trust with Joe. Maybe now he'll tell us where that place is. A whole bunch more bullets coming our way. Uh, let's go out here quick. Do the whole bucket dropping thing. Oh my god, I hate doing this. Okay, good. That's that done. Now, I should have a load of jewels and stuff in here. If I can get this all sold today, then I can sell the next lot tomorrow. Uh, that one's empty. What's in here? Uh, just water. There we go. Gems, gold, gold, gems, gems, diamonds. I think that was... I uh, don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, loads of stuff. We're never going to sell it all, but we can sell lots of it. We could buy loads of plastic. He's got his glasses now. Hopefully our negotiation skills have improved. It's pretty good. She'll probably want to buy some of this stuff off us. 36 for tusks. I'm sure, I'm sure it's worth more than that, genuinely. Uh, she's got three of those. I'm going to buy them because we want the textiles. We need the electronics, so we'll buy this stuff. And I think that's all we can do at the moment. 
But now we've got trust levels really high with Joe. I'm fairly confident that we can work on that. Need the bullets. Equip. Uh, equip. Equip. We could go do the hunting thing. Actually, I'm going to put that back in there. We don't want to have that on our person. I'm going to take that with me just in case. What's this? Warm clothes. Equip. Wow, we've got no money left again. There's the posty though. I'm sure he's going to bring us some cash. You know, Mr. Pepper? Oh, yeah, 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 I know, dude. I know, dude. Thank you. You had these daily visits too. I know, I know, I know. Right. So, plastic in there. What was it? 40 or 60 plastic? 50 plastic. 20 electronics. Okay. So we should have enough electronics now for this. Oh. It's a, I just bought three special decorative carpets from Jenny's collection. Great. <laughs> I did not need those at all. I thought I could disassemble them, but no, that is not the case. Well, that was a total waste of money. Okay, so it's midnight. Uh, I need... Oh, no, we're one short. Ah, oh, blast. We are so getting there, though. Look at this. We do need to find that other special thing. Well, I'm going to take all this out of here because I don't think that should be in there. Try and keep that bottom one just for missions and stuff. Take the gold. Hold on to all of that. The knives. Should we try and sell the knives? Let's just go to sleep. It's late. It's late. We can do all this tomorrow. There's a lot of faffing and tweaking and stuff that needs to be done. Last day of the episode. I love it when we get to the last day of the episode. I'm going to try and prepare things for the next episode. Okay, let's trade. Start with Bob, because these things are heavy. And he buys a lot of stuff from us. And we can also get quite a lot of plastic from him. Joe! So I've already sold him all the scrap I have, right? Oh, he could sell us a spire and electronics off him for $12. And a bunch of bullets. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we'll take the telephones. Nothing going on there, nothing going on there. Okay, that's pretty much all of that done. Grab that. We'll read it. Blackout thunderstorms. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get rid of that rubbish. Stop it taking up all of our space and time and effort and so on. Oh, Joe, can I sell you some knives, mate? I have got, like, you don't want any knives. But I have so many knives. All right, the baseball bat and the knives, they're going to go in long-term storage. Sort of surplus stuff. Knife, knife, baseball bat. The explosives I think can go in there as well. 92 bullets. Check me out. 
Right, what have we got in here that we need in the thing? We don't have anything in there. No plastics. Okay. So we've got a lot of water. I'm just gonna actually just go and water everything. Thank you, Posty. What does this mean? In good condition. We do need something to eat though. Just eat some of that soup. It's so cool that you can have like five or six tins of soup in one of those pockets. It actually allows you to carry an awful lot of stuff. A lot more than you might realise at first. Okay, grab those oranges. And we'll equip those. Pop those in there. We do need some more vegetables and stuff. Not too shabby, sir. Oh look, we've got four of those we could dry. Only four? It's a little bit random. Alright, so at some point we're going to have to sort out those rats down in level 5, 6, or whatever it is. Now we might have everything we need for that mission, but... Not quite, we need three more plastic. So with it, we just need three plastic and then that thing that we can't... Oh look. Three more plastic, so one more plastic now, and then that thing that we don't know what it is yet. We just need one piece of plastic. Good stuff. So he's had... Okay, he's had enough. I'm going to order a, another one of these off him, actually, because they break real easy. Uh, so we've got some, I think, metal in there, some glass in there. Collect that, take it over. Glass, metal, nice. Pretty good stuff. Is there anything... Uh, no, maybe I should be thinking about fridges and freezers again. Need a lot of plastic for that, though. Room upgrade for greenhouse. I don't think I need that, do I? Isn't that already done? Or did I do it here? I did it somewhere. Did I move all my greenhouses? See, that's got zero of four, but I'm sure I did the greenhouses, right? Yeah, look at this. You stupid fool! All this time you've had that upgrade available to you. Stick that in there. Nope, click on that. And then do that. Okay, and then upgrade. Perfect. So that everything just grows faster in the greenhouses room. That's what that does. Probably uses less water as well. Okay, well that's something, I guess. So what's this lacking? Plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic, so I just need to keep buying plastic. Plastic and electronics, we just need to never stop buying plastic and electronics. Take your time, dude. No rush. Yeah, nobody needs to be anywhere. Nobody, it's not like we've got a million things to do. Hey! hey. Yeah, a new series of stamps. Great. Well, I've got a new pickaxe, so don't mess with me, buddy. The water's out. That's all good to go. Let's go to the forest. Check on our traps. A 
level five. I have to remind myself what we need here. What do we need here? Thirty metal, thirty electronics, and one lever. Whoa, that's actually quite a lot. All right, let's head home. So what we can do, we can start collecting the next lot of electronics and stuff. Question. What did I do with the second lever? Okay, 20. Let's do it this way. What did I do with that lever? that can't go in there. So what is this? Fabrics. Let's disassemble the fabrics. We get three textiles for that. Disassemble that as well. Sounds good. Can I disassemble the gold? No. Can I disassemble this? I can disassemble an axe. And then I can make axes. I can't do it with the bullets. I can't do it with the bait. Can I do it with the pickaxe? Oh, this is good. This is good. Now I can start building these things. It's going to be so much cheaper. Hunting clothes. I need 20 textiles. That's quite a lot of textiles. That is quite a lot of textiles. Okay. Ooh. Blimey. Uh, I need to figure out what I did with that lever because I haven't a clue uh, they're kind of important letters aren't they let's go put those in long term storage I think I put my books on the top I can't remember now yeah so I need to go in here Yeah, that's the local herbalist. I thought we had a love letter for a second. I thought it was from Kate. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing doing, nothing doing. I'm gonna dry some of that meat. And that's like long, long term storage. Stuff that we have that we don't really necessarily need. Probably should get into the routine of using those smoke bombs on the rats. Holy cow, what did I do with that lever? I really can't remember. Lots of fuel. Not really enough fuel, to be honest. That's all the oil I collected the other day gone. Goodness me. Just keeps going this game, doesn't it? <laughs> never ending, never ending workload. Where did I put that bloody lever? Is it on me? I've already got it. No, 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 no. Where the hell did I put it? 
Uh, no, let's dry this out, actually. So somewhere and I don't know where I have a lever and it's quite worrying that I don't know where it is life of me I can't think where I would have put it oh hang on the last place I haven't checked perhaps please be in there no holy bananas Double double checking everywhere now. Certainly not in there. Not there. Sure, we have a lever. There it is, the little sod. Wow. Stress much? Right, what shall I do with these lights? I don't really need to put them in anywhere. Okay, that's it for me guys. I think I'm done. I don't think I can sell anything else. I've sold as much gold as I can. Time to sleep and wrap up the episode. Been interesting. It's been very interesting. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you again in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now. <laughs>